Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's first take a come where Busia for Wagana for name in a tap tap send. Papa no no. Every industry comes with its issues and today I'm about to take you through one particular documentary that has been gathered here in Ghana, especially in our showbiz industry with emphasis on those who have been imprisoned, maybe went to cells or those who have been jailed. This is a documentary found on www.ghanaweb.com and Sami Flex is putting it together for you to also be part of the knowledge that we are sharing here. Now the documentary will come with the headline 16 Ghanaian celebrities who have been to prison. 16 Ghanaian celebrities who have been to prison. Maybe you didn't know that some of our celebrities have been jailed. Maybe you didn't know that some of our celebrities have had some issues with the law in Ghana and they have suffered jail one way or the other. So in this journey, we are going to give you the profile of 16 Ghanaian celebrities who have tasted prison life or cell life ever in their career. The fact that some of them are not active means that we are still going to do this in an all-time affair. All the stories that we have gathered so far in our industry. Now, it comes this way. The glitz and glamour that come with stardom and being a celebrity make some celebrities believe they are way above the law and can do whatever pleases them. However, times and seasons have shown that just like the ordinary person, a celebrity can be put before court should they go wrong. Many may think that the need to crack the whip on celebrities and public figures started under the tenure of the current Inspector General of Police, Dr. Akufu Dampare, but that is far from the truth. Ghana Web takes a look at 16 Ghanaian celebrities who have been to prison in the past three decades and Sami Flex TV we are also putting together in a documentary for you to know how it has been happening for the past three decades. Now we'll start from number 16. Number 16 is Deba. Ghanaian musician Deba was arrested by Interpol after a long search. He allegedly defiled an eight-year-old stepdaughter of his fiancée in the United Kingdom. According to media reports filed at the time of his arrest, Deba committed this crime against his, step his stepchild between 2006 and 2008. He broke into the Ghanaian music scene with his monster hit, Deba. Now, let's move on to number 15, Ramzi Amui. Um, Ramzi Amui, popularly known as Ramzi, was sentenced to a 10-year imprisonment in 2010. He was the first runner-up in the first edition of Stars of the Future. Ramsey and eight others pleaded guilty to charges of conspiracy, armed robbery, and dishonesty. Ramsey, who is now a minister of God, was released on December 29, 2017. This will take us to number 14, Shaka Zulu. Richard Kwabna, popularly known as Shaka Zulu, was sentenced to a 30 years imprisonment for armed robbery. The popular celebrity bodyguard and video vixen was charged on two counts, one of each he's supposed to serve 15 years. 
the bouncer reportedly robbed a businessman at gunpoint at Bachona here in Accra, Ghana. Number 13, Ibrahim Sima. Ibrahim Sima was the chief executive officer of the Exopa Modeling Agency. He died on Thursday, December 4th, 2014, at the Insawan prison where he was serving a 15-year jail term for trafficking narcotics. Sima passed away after suffering injuries from a football game. Prior to his death, Sima had complained of a headache. It moves us to number 12, G-Man. Nana Akwesi Ajman, popularly known as G-Man, was one of Ghana's finest instrumentalists, dancers, and musicians. In 1995, he shot a taxi driver whilst in a scaffold with him, even though it was not his intention to kill the driver, but threatened him to reverse a case he placed on him and his friend Abe Kunyame alias Jagapi after picking sand from their footsteps. He spent 14 years in jail and is currently a pastor and is now living in the United States of America, USA. Number 11 is Mr. Goodies. The chief executive officer of Goodies Production Isaac Abeiku Edu was sentenced to 13 years imprisonment by an Accra circuit court which attempted to export 80 pellets of cocaine to London, UK. The trial of the accused person came to an abrupt end when in his defense he apologized and prayed the court to deal leniently with him as he had never intended to engage in any drug business. Now to number 10. Dasibre Jamna. Dasibre Jamna was jailed in the UK for possessing substances suspected to be cocaine when he disembarked from a flight. He reportedly had in his possession two kilograms of the suspected substance concealed in his suitcase with a street value of about £100,000. He was released from jail in 2007 and died on July 27, 2016. Number 9 is Kwao Kesi, aka Abodam. Ghanaian hip life musician Kwao Kesi was jailed in 2014 for smoking cannabis in public. The musician was on remand for over a month at the Kumase Central Prison because he was bailed on December 30, 2014. High Court Judge William Buampon sentenced him to a day in jail and ordered him to pay a fine of 1,200 Ghana cities. He paid the fine and served the one day the one day jail sentence. Number eight, gospel artist Ohima Jaki. Gospel singer, vlogger Ohima Jaki was arrested in September for defrauding a lady out of 21,000 euros with claims that she would secure her passport and travel documents. After spending a week in jail, she was granted bail, but, but that went on the run. Number 7. Ifia Odo. Ifia Odo and 10 Fix the Country campaigners were arrested in June for protesting the arrest of other campaigners. Whilst protesting before the Accra High Court, they were arrested by police and taken to jail before being released later. Ifia Odo, after the incident, stopped her activism and left social media for a while. Number 6. Nana Agrada. Traditional priest Patricia Asiedu, aka Nana Agrada, was arrested in April for illegally operating two TV stations and defrauding Ghanaians. After she spent some time behind bars, she re emerged claiming to be a born again Christian. She is now an evangelist known as Patricia Odro Cranton. Number five is Bulldog. Artist, manager, and entertainment analyst, Bulldog was picked by BNI in January and was detained for weeks for threatening President Nana Adodankwa Kufuado on live television. Lawrence Nana Asiyama Hansen, known as Bulldog, later said his arrest was like a movie as the security official stormed his house with weapons for the utterances he made on UTV's United Showbiz program. Number four. Reverend Owusu Bempa. The man of God and celebrity Pastor Isaac Owusu Bempa was arrested by the police after, after threatening Nana Agrada. 
he and some accolades stormed her residence with weapons threatening her life he spent some days in jail before being released on bail number three is Akiapim Polo Rosemond Brown known by many as Akiapim Polo was sentenced to 90 days imprisonment the actress was charged with the publication of obscene material and domestic violence this happened when she took a naked picture with her seven year old boy and posted it on june 30th 2020 on his birthday number two rapper medical ghanian hip-hop star and rapper samuel adufrimpon was arrested after he posted a video of himself holding a gun on snapchat he was remanded in prison custody for five days the conclusion was reached by an Accra circuit court on Friday, October 22nd, after the musician was arrested for brandishing a gun on social media. He was granted bail to the tune of 100,000 Ghana cities with one surety on October 26, 2021. Number one is Shata Wale. Ghanaian dance hall reggae artist Charles Ni Amamensa Jr., known as Shata Wale, was arrested for faking reports that he had been shot by unknown gunmen, which was even linked to a death prophecy. He was given a one-week a one remand at the Ankafo Maximum Security Prison after he pleaded not guilty to the charge of spreading false news that caused fear and panic. Shatawale was granted bail, 100,000 Ghana cities self-recognizance bail on Tuesday, October 26, 2021, and the case is still being heard in court. This has been the documentary put together by Samiflex TV with motivation from GhanaWeb.com for the prisoners in our entertainment scene, those who have been held by the law over the years. For information, we have more of these documentaries coming up. So remember to always subscribe to us, Samiflex TV, and enjoy the best of showbiz content from Ghana. Let me say thanks to the producers, the guitar rasta currency, Richie Flex, Yala PG, and I did the reading for you. My name is Sammy Flex. If you loved this, subscribe to it and wait for more. Until then, we out.